Now, the next thing I'm going to do is change it up for the header area. So if we come back over here and grab this background image again, and then come over to the header area background image, and paste that image here. But instead of project paper, let's go ahead and use the darker one, which was inflicted. And we need to make sure that it repeats in the X and the Y direction. Now we hit save. So now I've got, you know, these two different things. If you want to make a finer line between the two, we can add that shadow to the bottom. So we come down to the top border drop shadow and bottom border drop shadow is the one. So if we say pick four pixels is our drop shadow. Refresh that and refresh that. Now we have a nice little drop shadow happening there. And interestingly, oh that's right because I want to get rid of the white here. Right. I forgot what I was doing there for just a second. And so if we if we want to get rid of that page color and make it essentially make it transparent, we can go ahead and select that, making it transparent, and refresh this. And now we end up with, you know, this strong header across here. Let's make this a light gray, switching to blue. So come over to our design options. And under our header, instead of the black, if we click a light gray and hit save. Now we have a nice crisp look. And we can do the same thing with this footer widgets plugin, right? We could take that dark color and we could fill the blue with that dark color. And we can also swap out this nav menu so it doesn't have to clash with it. Let's take a quick swipe at that. Go back to our full width backgrounds. And let's take this header area background image again and just copy it. And go down to our footer area background image and paste it. We'll repeat it in the X and the Y direction. Hit save. And we'll come over here and take a look at what it looks like real quick before we get too far down the road. First thing I want to do is get rid of this white. And then I want to get rid of the blue. And then I want the rest of the stuff to stay there. So I'm going to get rid of the white by turning off the page background. So footer area page, we're just going to make that background transparent and hit save. And come over here and refresh this. And now that footer goes all the way across. And then I want to get rid of this blue. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do, instead of this blue, I'm going to put a very light white a semi-transparent image over this. But first we'll get rid of the blue and see what it looks like. And that's inside the footer widgets itself. And under our row background style background color well actually if I uncheck that I bet you that solves the problem. Because then it takes the background color out of it. Yep. So that does solve the problem, and in fact, it allows me to have a cool little thing down there if that's what I want. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you an example of using these, you know, cool patterns. And there are lots and lots and lots of different patterns in here. And just about anything you may want to do, I'm guessing you can find. 
rubber grip. That's a little intense. And so you flip through these things and just select download, you get the image, and then you can come to the plugin and insert that image and you can end up with some, you know, fairly cool effects.